Hi guys. Well, that was fun. First day of online school. We learned so much. So one of the things we decide we need to do is maybe a little more explanation um, on assignments. So what I'd like to do is just take this time to explain to you a little bit more of what I'm thinking for the doodle notes. So if you would just follow along, um, that would be great. Okay, I'm just gonna disappear here for you. All right, so <clears throat> Doodle Notes is just a fun tool to take notes. <clears throat> just like I taught you how to do um, vocabulary study cards for science. Um, you know, it's a tool to use. You may like it and use it in other classes in the future. You may not like it. This is just another tool called Doodle Notes. So it's a fun way to organize your new learning and create a poster that you can actually hang up in your room for reference with the idea that the more you look at something and study it, the better it will stick in your brain. I suggest using a large piece of white paper, or you can tape four pieces of paper together. Um, if you don't have large paper, you could get creative. You could use maybe um, some roll of paper you might have. Um, you might have a, a grocery bag that you could cut up or the back of some wrapping paper, a cardboard box and cut it apart. So it, it doesn't have to be paper, it doesn't have to be white, um, but the idea, it's, it's just fun if it's larger. So if that works, great. If not, just do what you can do. Um, I have found that dark coloring or outlining your drawings just really helps the images to pop. Um, so it's something to keep in mind. Some students, when they write with a pencil, they write really light and it makes it hard to read. So maybe press a little bit harder or go over your pencil with um, a darker tool. And I really want to emphasize this is a two week project. It says that in the instructions, it has the due date on there. Um, it was not meant to be completed today or even tomorrow. It's a two week project. What I'm looking for is facts from a variety of resources um, on this Doodle Notes uh, poster. So the language arts teachers are giving you things to read. I'm giving you videos to watch. I'm gonna do a slideshow. I'm posting that for you to watch tomorrow. So I should see facts and information reflected from a variety of resources um, on this project. So the idea is that you take notes while you're reading um, those language arts passages or watching the science videos, and then you can add conceptual models, so that's drawings, to explain the four spheres of the earth. Whenever a teacher gives you a checkoff list or a rubric, you wanna pay attention to that. So please make sure that you have pictures with labels, that you include ideas or examples that we have used in class, that you define the Greek root words, and there's some different levels of doing that. So you could take a look at the rubric on Google Classroom and see what level um, you wanna do, how much you wanna challenge yourself with that. Add zoom-ins to show what's too small to see, and we've done zoom-ins in class before, so everyone is familiar with that. And make sure you include arrows, and remember that arrows show movement of matter between the spheres. So I posted some examples. Those are always a good idea to take a look at. I know I'm a visual learner. So for me, if I can see a picture of something, I'm way better off than reading a bunch of words about it. <clears throat> so I have some pictures of um, posters that have been done by students in the past. When I've done it in class, I've given them a template and you didn't have the advantage of having the template. So you'll have to kind of create your own. It also gives you more freedom for creativity. But let's just take a look at these. So I'm looking at this one on the left. So you can see where you need to make sure that you label each of the spheres. And then what this person did is they made an earth in the center. And then these lines are labeling um, where that sphere is on their earth model in the center. 
That was a creative idea. They've got zoom-ins. So this zoom-in is showing sand comes from a rock. And that in this earth, soil, there are worms or small um, organisms. Um, they are showing that uh, that word atmosphere um, has to do with air. And then they were giving extra words that also contain that Greek root word. So they were working for the four. And they're talking about how the spheres interact. So the biosphere is part of all the other systems. So they're showing that there's a plant here on the earth. They're showing that in the hydrosphere, there are fish. And in the biosphere, there are birds. So just different examples of how they're interacting. Here's another example of a poster. This one um, did the arrows that I'd asked for. So they've got arrows showing how the different spheres interact and you can read those labels. They have facts about each sphere and then they did their extended Greek root words. And the last one I want to show you, <clears throat> this person chose to color code. So each sphere is um, represented in a different color. They have arrows showing motion for the river. Um, they have zoom ins showing something that maybe I could see with my naked eye, but I might not pay attention to. So moss growing on rocks, that's an example of the biosphere interacting with the geosphere. Um, this one here has dust blowing in the air, an example of the geosphere in the atmosphere, and fish swimming in the water, an example of the biosphere in the hydrosphere. When you're all done, take a photo of your work and then you can upload it to Classroom, or you could attach a link um, to show your work, um, especially if it's done on the computer. Be creative and have fun. This is your project. There's no right or wrong to it. It's just a way of you collecting notes and it's a culminating project showing how the spheres interact. So I'm looking for matter and energy and how those interact together. So this is going to be your poster. So make it work for you. All right. Have fun with that. I hope that helps.